Hello and welcome. You're watching ThePianoLesson.com. I'm Jonathan Eder. Today I'm going to give you some advice about how to choose a piano. And today we're going to look at an upright piano. Now, upright pianos are one of two kinds of pianos. There's upright pianos and grand pianos. And there are a lot of similarities and there's some differences. Uh, particularly, uh, the upright piano is just that. It's a vertical piano. And uh, upright pianos can measure anywhere from about 35, 36 inches up on to 52 inches in height. This particular piano is about 42 inches in height. It's made by a company named Mason & Hamlin, which is a very prominent and respected American manufacturer. Uh, there are American manufacturers and there are manufacturers from other countries in Europe and also in Asia. Uh, some make very fine pianos and others not so fine. Uh, <clears throat> what you need to look for are uh, the following. Listen for the tone of the piano. Listen to hear a sustain. In other words, the sound should last a long time and particularly in the upper register. You might time it with a wristwatch. Uh, at least five or so seconds, six seconds. You also want to listen to consistency throughout the whole register of the piano. Uh, are there any unusual sounding notes? Do they stick out or do they all sound about even? In other words, are they all about at the same volume. Are there any unusual noises when you play the piano? We're going to start by playing the upper range of the piano and going on down. This is the very high end of the piano. One by one. There's actually 88 notes altogether. And as I'm playing, I'm listening for evenness of tone. sounds even and it also sounds clear particularly in uh, a piano that's smaller you want to make sure you can hear all the notes clearly uh, also you want to make sure that uh, all the keys are nice and level that they're evenly spaced uh, <clears throat> we might play one note on the piano and just listen That's a fairly long tone on a piano. If you hear that the tone dies away quickly, there may be issues with the instrument itself. So we might play a few chords on the piano. If you can't play, you can bring someone that can play. Uh, we'll start at the low register. I listen if the piano's in tune. Chances are if it's in tune, it's been well maintained and uh, it may not need tuning when you bring it home. So those are some considerations as well. Uh, now that we've listened to the piano a little bit, we're going to open up the piano, take a look inside and show you some of the parts that a tuner or a technician might be concerned with as well.